right. <clears throat> Let's watch this whole thing here. Cool. All right. Let's see. So there are a couple of things here. So if you want to swing, this might destroy some things. But and this is this is picky things. Like movies nowadays are not super critical anymore about um, direction change. And at this point, there's only one Spider-Man, so it's not like we're confused. But you are keeping a fairly consistent right to left. This kind of works because you're straight on, and which gives you another freedom to go either way which then you go <clears throat> left or right. But then here, we're a bit in a uh, right to left, the minimal right to left. And that is from behind uh, on the right side, almost implying a right to left. And here you are right to left. So to me, the most screen direction is right to left. So I personally would take this. Uh, I don't know if you can just flip the image, but there's something where uh, I will go this way. Now this is picky, and I think I don't know how many are going to care about this. But it'll just give you a more um, consistent right to left view. And then my question is is this your safe action or your actual framing where this will be your mask, or is this your mask here uh, and that's your action save? So I don't know. Um, but. I think you can have him just a bit more screen right, just compositionally. So it's a bit more, a bit more in the thirds. Even here, you could have him. Uh, you know, the head would be here, so the whole action would be a bit more on that right side. You know, imagine he lands here, and a villain is here, or whatever, just for composition. Which means even through here, it's a bit straight on. And it might give you a nicer silhouette if you're just a bit more here and then he lands here. Not that he lands here, but I'm saying he starts, you know, frame-wise here and here. Hold on. Depends. Depends where you're going. It's a bit tricky. I mean, from here on, you can go... Let me revise everything I just said here. Because if, if that's your frame, let's get a nice composition with him here. Even if that's your frame, it, it's nice. Goes down... And then here, we are kind of middle to middle. It's not too bad. And if he would exit this way, it's not too bad. Yeah, if you start here, it might get a bit jarring. This is just we're going this way, and then, and then he would go right to left. So I would say. You could almost have a little bit of camera move. I think we could afford, if he lands here, to be a bit more here, so you can go right to left. <clears throat> and then you could have him start here-ish, landing here with a little bit of camera pan, so that we're still ending up here, right? So that in frame, he ends up here. That makes sense, right? So you, I would start with him around here-ish in frame, so move him over a little bit, but land here in frame. But throughout that whole thing, you do a pan to the left so that eventually he actually lands here, which then is a nice overlap for this. Piggy stuff, piggy stuff. Again, you know, it's a fairly empty background with one Spider-Man. It's not like at this point we're confused, but I think it could be an interesting exercise in making that flow work a bit better. Now, <clears throat> animation-wise, you are mentioning here... I used reference for the earlier part of the shot where he jumps for the rest. It was based on the moves from the movies and trailers. I think this shot is very successful, but I would give this more impact. Boom! <clears throat> this feels fairly stiff right through there. And I would, I'm not sure why this is happening here. Arm is in front and this is in the back. Uh, I would take this and move it backward so that we see him here in front of that building, whatever that is. But anyway, this impact could have a lowering of the elbow. This is cool. I like, I like that. Has nice momentum going in because of that impact. So this feels a bit stiff. And he falls fairly straight down-ish, even though he will come more towards us. 
the picky thing for me would be land with like a few adjustments but it's not super crazy it's not like he's going like super far and then just sticks where he has to have some bounces i think we can buy this this sticky landing it's a nice shot i like the pose again i would just make that a bigger impact in this And that kind of works. Again, it depends where your framing is. This is just a little bit of a tangent. Same with the thumb. It's kind of okay to cut this off here, but I will bring up that arm. Um, but it's a nice offset. It's a bit pose to pose. So you can get some, some more offsets and then you can potentially get... I like how you have this here like that. And then it gets more flattened towards us. But you can push, you can push that rotation in his his reposing he's like this you know you can almost get this shoulder in front of us this away from us this arm is away from us and this is in front of us maybe even the hand is in front of us just like a bigger post change so it doesn't feel like well i'm just going up mostly translate with a little bit of rotation you know especially in the root or hips it feels like that rotation is always the same so i think you make that a bit more complex impact there let me start at the beginning as I showed right <laughs> here some weird hand poses so next pass watch out for your hands get this a bit more you know he seems fairly relaxed in his crouch pose here so I will bring in the elbow a bit lower arm a bit out and then you can have just a fairly relaxed hand pose same thing here because you get a nice red on blue color silhouette so you can have both hands fairly relaxed and then they can tighten up a bit as he gets up and then what I would do is I would I would personally have him lean forward a bit. It's almost like you want to anticipate. Like right now he's just here and then gets going. And I think you can have a little bit of a lean forward and then arms up and then jump. It's just a bit more so it's just not just out of that straight pose. This is a bit slow. If you're going for realism, that section is a bit too uh, floaty hang time. Also, if you look at your momentum here going this way that's a lot of movement and then suddenly we're sticking especially through here so it's not just the slow move but also the momentum will be he will be going a lot further see that if he lands here or to me he will be here you have to kind of extrapolate well if i do this at that speed at that angle you know it could be something more like that so that feels a bit stunted there and he feels like he is almost ready and athletic, even though that's a bit of a... I would offset those arms so it's not flowing all into one stump. So you can have some offsets there and then offsets in how they swing back so they're not moving in twin fashion here. But then, then once you get into this, this feels as he got, he got knocked out. Like the, the feet are too parallel. I would bring those feet back. I would bring the feet together. Probably. You could get away with those, but... I would definitely bring those forward and you can potentially um, you know, have one a bit more uh, bent. I don't know, some, whatever you want to do acting-wise, but something a bit more elegant. This feels like it's just only a sack of potatoes falling, especially through here. His arms just kind of, eh, there's no readjusting in the pose here. The head doesn't really straighten. It just kind of gets into a pose and then kind of dies. And this feels more, I'm falling out of control. Even though that's a nice pose, it just doesn't feel quite right where here it gets a bit better just to that but then what's missing here <clears throat> is a clear pose and a clear beat of him you would have to turn this around get a bit faster and a bit more in control so that once you're here we get to this a bit faster well that's not too bad it depends how real you want to get i think that turns okay but this to me would be What's missing is the beginning beat of him straightening his arm, shooting out the web. You want to see a beat of I'm I'm rolling and then kind of staying in this pose, shooting. Then the web, uh, you know, shoots out and then tightens. And that tightening is what propels him forward here. So that you can have a regular rotation. And then just that would make a bit more sense, a bit of a faster pull because that spiderweb thing is pulling towards him here the weird thing too is that 
<clears throat> in its current form. It rotates in this straight fashion on one axis and starts to translate over this way instead of feet staying here and it's being pulled. It's being pulled over there. So even through this, the legs would be here. They would drag a lot more. All of this would be more this way. Speed-wise, again, that sudden acceleration I would buy if there was a straight arm with the spider web out and it's being pulled. But again, then I would drag the legs more even in downwards fashion and left it's just the the arm that's being pulled so everything else is being pulled and it fades out so it would be arm chest and root in that order but then once you get to here phew, that's the only way too fast you're killing your realism here because as you start the shot you're setting up the style and that seems pretty real phew. even though i make i would make this faster not by much, but still faster. Especially given how quickly you jump up here. And again, the speed I could buy if it's the pulling of the spider web. Whoa, but then that's way too fast. Right there, you're killing realism. Goes to cartoon land. Even then, it would be too fast. You'd be really stylized to get that much of a speed up over a couple of frames. Because that feels a bit more real even though it, you could probably have one or two more frames hang time and one or two more frames on the drop. Just tiny, tiny, tiny add frames. Just a little bit too fast right through there. One, one or two frames, two frames hang time, two frames drop. I don't know it's picky, but just a bit. And then offset legs. You know, at this point I will bring the legs together and then you can separate them and then one will go sooner than the other. So offsets and timing. <clears throat> Because that is fairly realistic timing here. I can buy all this. So based on this, which I think is cool, based on that beginning, which is cool too, with some tweaks, I will keep the rest within that style and realism of timing. And here, I personally would add another second, at least half a second, probably a second. Because we're getting... Whoa! So it's a bit fast. You can probably slow it down a bit. And it's almost like you want a moment of settle. Like he gets up and is ready. So imagine, you know, there would be sound and you can hear, you know, whatever, creature, villain, whatever, attack, whatever, disturbance on block, blah, blah, blah. And he hears this. You could almost have the head down or you can have the head looking up here and then a little head dart down because he hears the sound and the is, looks down. Okay, that's my, that's my cue. Then he jumps again with that little bit of a lean forward and then jump. And then that's here when... We have the creature, maybe it could be a big robot guy, a slow, you know, slow moves, and people running away. Ah! Skyscrapers. And then, dun, 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 I'm here. Unless you want to keep this. I would still add a second, even if you want to keep this timing, and maybe add one or two frames. But still with a settle, but there's still enough urgency in there. Depends how, you know, how badass you want him to be. And then this could, you know, cut to. Uh, you know, a next shot where Spidey's here. <laughs> Big robot is here. That's your framing. Whoa! That's your... Whoa! <laughs> what am I doing here? All right. Let's pretend this is your framing. Ground plane. Spidey's here ready. <laughs> Big creature, robot, mech, whatever. Guy's here. Ah! People running away. Big legs in the foreground running away. So there's stuff in the foreground and background while these guys have their standoff. Like, that could be a cool cool shot. Not saying that this could be an interesting thing for your demo reel, but just in terms of a sequence and kind of ending it, it'd be kind of neat. If you want to add something here. All right. I think that is it. Good stuff. Thank you. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right? Thank you. Thank you.